Assalamu alaikum brother my name is Jamila Mukri and I'm a primary school teacher I would like to ask you can you mention at least five ways how we can develop sakina or build sakina as muslims five i think the time does not permit this is an easy escape from saying i don't know five but five time does not permit let's say first one first way of attaining sakina your knowledge of allah's presence with you if you are in a calamity and you depend only on your sources on my wallet on my friends i can talk in the government and the police to take me out of this trouble on my reputation oh it's the sheikh please i depend on my sources so i feel secure and i can feel the sakina from this but there are lots of calamities of problems that nothing can help you except the knowledge that Allah is with you Allah is with you with his power with his knowledge with his mercy so the minute i believe in this wallahi nothing can shake you up nothing when you know that Allah is with you and he's controlling everything this is the first means of attaining the sakina the second means is continue to make dhikr so when you make dhikr and you remember Allah azza wa jal as in the hadith we've mentioned when we gather and make dhikr or recite the Quran or study the Sunnah, the Sakina descends on us. This is one of the most important means. The third mean of attaining Sakina is reciting the Quran. And this is different. What's the difference? You Shaykh are trying to make excuses to make them five. No, it's, it's a different category altogether. The authentic hadith by Usaid ibn Hudayr, may Allah be pleased with him, one of the dignitaries of Al-Ansar. And he's the main cause of getting Sa'd ibn Mu'adh into Islam. Usaid ibn Hudayr was reciting night prayer, Quran and night prayer. In the Bukhari and Muslim, he was reciting Al-Baqarah. In other books, he was reciting Al-Kahf. So we have two big and beautiful surahs, Kahf and Baqarah. He had the horse tied with two ropes. And he had his son Yahya sleeping, a child six years five years old and we were talking about 2 a.m approximately after the middle of the night and he's reciting surat al-baqarah or surat al-kahf scholars like ibn hajar al-asqalani say that both incidents happened to him it's not a different incident both happened in kahf and in al-baqarah the story goes that he as he was reciting the horse started trembling and kicking and doing things that are not natural for him so he stopped and the horse calmed down and he started reciting again and the horse was trembling and he was afraid that the horse would step on his son Yahya so he stopped and after he finished prayer he looked up and he saw lights candles in the sky so after Fajr prayer with the Prophet he went and he told the Prophet the Prophet said recite the Quran Aba Yahya he said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I did, but I was afraid from the horse on my son. The Prophet said, Recite the Quran Aba Yahya twice and three times. And he said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I did, but I was afraid. The Prophet said, والسلام, That was the Sakina. What you saw, the light was the Sakina. In another hadith, authentic, that was the angels. Those were the angels, which means that Sakina descends with the angels. The angels are bringing it from Allah Azza wa Jal. So these are the means of getting Sakina. Whenever you are in distress, wherever you're feeling blue, sad, depressed, whenever you have problems all over you, covering your head, you don't know how to treat your mother-in-law. We have lots of problems with mothers-in-law. You don't know how to treat her. You don't know how to treat your children. They're sad with you. They're angry with you. They're cursing. They're not upset. I don't like you, mommy. I don't like you, daddy. You have problems. You don't know what to do. Open the Quran. Recite it. Asking Allah Azza wa Jal for relief, for calmness, for sakina. This is where the sakina says, and I think my chairman is telling me three is enough. Mm -hmm.